<clears throat> so this week on Weekend Rental, we are checking out Mortal Kombat Trilogy, a fighting game. Ever heard of it on um, PC? This is the Windows port. Uh, this thing came out on like everything it could have come out uh, on at the time. I think Saturn, PS1, uh, N64, probably Game.com, whatever Tiger had going. Um, just about everything. I don't think it was on Game Boy Color, but it should have been. Um, I think it's 1995. We could check that, um, get that updated. But uh, we played it online with the native net play. We played a bunch of sessions, just three of us going around. Um, this is kind of a greatest hits of the 2D before they moved on to 3D. It's got, I think, most of the characters, almost everybody's here. Um, you got a one versus one mode, a 2v2 kind of knockout sort of mode that you can do. Each player picking two characters and then just eliminating each. Um, and then uh, in single player, there are the different towers, kind of traditional to Mortal Kombat, where you can pick how many fights you want to go through and how hard it's going to be. We'll uh, move over to Vertex and I'll kick it off. Um, filter here, reporting in. This is a kitchen sink game. Uh, it's obviously budget. I played this a bunch on PS1 way back in the day uh, with my cousins, and we always had fun with this. Uh, it's just kind of silly fun. You just pick a character, see what you can do. Not all of them are good. Uh, some of them have ridiculous moves that move them across the screen, and you can obviously, like, if you're really trying, uh, set up some crazy combos. There's a dial a combo thing in the game itself, but I think there's a lot you can do with the special moves. I was really impressed with this PC port, never tried it out. I think it's top notch. Uh, the audio is especially is very good and there's no load times like the PlayStation version. So if you want to play Shao Kahn, not Shao Kahn, what's his name, Shang Tsung, and swap the characters, uh, you don't have to worry that the PlayStations have to uh, having to do disc seeks to find all the characters. Some slap happy violence. Um, really, it's all I, I, like. This is what I like Mortal Kombat for. I'm not a competitive player of Mortal Kombat. I like it casually. And it's got goofy voices, uh, fatalities, babalities, friendships. Um, secret characters, we didn't really figure out more than one. Um, and I would like to know if you can do Sub Zero's uncensored fatality. Uh, that's probably the only thing that would keep it from being a five for me is that we we didn't really see any intense gore, uh, but there might be some dip switches you can change on this port. I don't know. We can find out. Uh, I give it a 4.5 out of five. I would recommend it. We got this on uh, on GOG, eight bucks. Well worth it. Uh, I'm gonna pass off to Mega Man Man to see what he thought of this game. Thanks, Builder. Um, Mega Man Man here. I had. I still had a pretty decent time, even though I had uh, some weird connectivity issues, just some network play stuff. Everybody check your firewall settings or something. I don't know, but you guys had some pretty silky smooth frame rates going on over there. Uh, other than that, it's exactly what you would expect for Mortal Kombat to be uh, just Mortal Kombat T. It's a really, really good staple in the early fighting game type series there and uh i don't know i i kind of forgot how to do the moves for a long time i forgot it was uh i had to adjust a little bit for the time delay so it was always like press 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 but <laughs> then, uh, but yeah otherwise uh i did see some good gore there was still a surprising amount those exploding body parts there was uh chunky blood all over the place there was some uh just good old-fashioned mortal combat disgustingness uh i gave it a 4.5 out of 5 still just just a good party game to pick up play can't take it too seriously because it's just ridiculous but uh i'm gonna pass this on over to pants problems what you got Hell yeah, uh, it's Mortal Kombat. It's very good. I mean, it, it's a, definitely a um, kind of stopgap between their their newest MK4 release, but it's like a it's a it's a weird best of kind of an official ROM hack in a way. It's really fun. It's really really stupid. I mean, they know what they're going with. I mean, it it, it it's got a lot of randomness to it. Um, you know, if you like Mortal Kombat 3 in general, then this is like a no brainer. You you'd love it. 
That being said, this PC port is shockingly competent and very impressive for like when it came out. Like when if if booting this now and looking at it and the way that it functions is really neat that it just still kind of works. It's it's weird. But either way, yeah, I gave it four four point five out of five just for, you know, Mortal Kombat trilogy alone. It's 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 a good time. If you like the games, you'll you'll love MK trilogy. All right, you heard it here, folks. Uh, if you're looking for some Mortal Kombat in the 2D variety and a 2D pixelated variety, this is a good one to go with. 4.5 or 4 from all the selectors today. Uh, check it out on GOG or um, whatever console you want to play it on. And have, have a blast. <laughs>